Hi there, Kawa here. Uh, yeah, so sorry guys, um, for this episode of Sage World Battlefield, there's gonna be no commentary during the uh, actual fights. Uh, I actually forgot to turn on the mic <laughs> during uh, recording. So uh, I'm just recording this intro here so that I can explain uh, what's gonna go on and uh, more or less why I'm using this team. So I actually was really busy this week and I didn't get a chance to think of uh, a new fun team for you guys. So uh, instead of doing a fun team, I decided to show you guys what one of my serious teams look like. Um, this is this team specifically is for serious fights, such as like when I have to go into space time and I actually want to win, then I would bring this team in or a variation or something like this. And um, just saying that um, my teams that you usually see in uh, Sage World, those teams are either experiments or I'm just trying to show something fun uh, to you guys. But this is 100% what I use when I need to be serious. So um, as you can see, this is what the setup looks like. Uh, actually, the water main is supposed to be over here behind Naruto, but it's fine. You can, either one works. But yeah. Um, let me just show you guys the talents real quick. Uh, it's really standard. It just heals uh, the knockdown to the high float chase, along with neurotoxin and the uh, dodge. Uh, you want this combination for the 100% chaos rate. So this team here is my serious team because it fits the criteria that I feel like you need when uh, you're fighting seriously when you're trying to really win and it's not here to kill fast that's why i don't use it for sage world it's meant to be a sustaining team that uh wins by um pushing um the fight longer uh there's no real scaling here i saw kushina scaling off the uh damage she takes she gains more crit so there's no scaling here which is the one thing that I always say to people that you should have on your team but in this situation it's fine so this team specifically is made in this way because uh, Kushina here is the main tank she purposely stands in front like this so that she can eat any sweeping attacks like uh, from Susano Itachi and obviously she stands in the middle where uh, most attacks will go towards uh, Kushina is a excellent weapon against immune people such as Naruto and uh, anyone who's just using Root in general and all the other Jinchurikis uh, because she obviously takes away their uh, immunity. So usually uh, against like a 6 path Naruto or something I would just attack with Kushina standard first and then fire her mystery to strip him of his uh, immunity and then uh, with this exact setup, the chase guarantees a CC no matter what. He cannot escape it. Um, Kushina will send him the repulse, and then Naruto's chase is undodgeable, and uh, it will CC him. Uh, assuming that, you know, for some reason it's someone who can dodge uh, chases, like uh, KSM, they can't dodge Naruto's CC on his chase so it's 100% locked in that if I go for that target they're going to be locked down as long as Kushina can hit them uh, and then the other part of the team is that we have Naruto here he's here as a secondary DPS because he can constantly fire off his mystery uh, I would argue that he's technically just as good as a six path Naruto I know a lot of people would not agree with me on that point but the uh, main reason I say that is the only real thing that Six Path Naruto has over this Naruto here is he has the, uh, the lifesteal. The lifesteal that a lot of people like to hype up, but I can't stress enough that uh, that lifesteal is not that amazing. It is literally, and I, I can't say it enough, it is literally Anbu Special Tactics that Lightning Man has. And it's only for him, but Anbu Special Tactics is for your whole team. Nobody ever hyped up Anbu Special Tactics. I don't understand why people are hyping up Naruto's heal now. Because we all know that Anbu Special Tactics does not heal that much. And it's the same percentage. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going on a tangent now. Uh, yeah, so... I have Naruto here, as I said, as the move too, because he is the secondary DPS. He has constant damage. 
and he bumps up his own combo rate by 80% the moment he chases, meaning that he will almost always lower his CD. It's really rare that he doesn't, but it's possible, obviously, but his rate of lowering his CD is higher than that of Six Path Naruto. Uh, nothing really to say about the main. Um, she's here as the 100% uh, CC rate, uh, because you get the first CC off Naruto, uh, for if for any reason he fails, uh, like a control fail, Kushina will come in with her low flow to knockdown. Uh, if for some amazing reason she fails too, uh, Water Main will have her 100% CC lock in with her knockdown to high float chase, because it is a 100% crit rate, so her chaos can never miss on that situation. And uh, I know a lot of people will be questioning why I'm playing this. Uh, Vanilla Itachi here. The reason why he's here is he serves the role. He serves a multi-purpose role, but the main purpose is that he has the uh, rotation of heaven and earth, the uh, the reflection of all debuffs. So if you run into any like chaos water mains or just in general any random CC touching him, he sends it back towards them, and it can change the flow of battle very easily because. Any just random CC touching him going back, it affects them a lot. Such as like if I if Itachi here attacks a Renegon Sasuke, Renegon Sasuke might chaos him, but you know Itachi will just bounce it back and he'll send it to someone else, and that might just instantly immobile one enemy, and then Itachi only has one way to attack the Susano, uh, uh, the Renegon Sasuke, which is his standard, and he'll put that unit to sleep. I don't think his sleep can fail. I've never seen it fail, so I don't think it can fail. Um, if you're, if you know if it can fail, let me know in the comment section. But I don't think it can. Uh, and then his other main purpose is that he breaks barriers with his Sugiyomi. Uh, when you run into an equal power enemy, a 40% buff to their damage is a very serious thing. So like. If you, if I was in space time and let's say I ran into someone who was equally strong as me, 330k, and they get the advantage with like a passive barrier from Shisui, Itachi here can just break that barrier and put us back on parity again, where you know you have no barrier and I have a not very important barrier, but it's better than nothing. <laughs> and then he also gets to play a little bit of off. Um, of a, as an off tank because he has the crow clone dodge and it triggers relatively a lot if you have Tsukiyomi active and seeing that Tsukiyomi costs zero chakra and is a prompt there's no reason why not to have him lingering here uh, but another way you can change it around for those people who have it available is you can swap this Itachi out for uh, Edo Hashirama but then you know he'll be he'll stand behind Naruto here instead of uh, he'll he'll be number three instead of number four if it's Edo Hashirama. Uh, the reason I don't do Edo Hashirama is because he's not ready yet, in my opinion. He needs that skill break where he switches out his healing of um, uh, of Sage units to him just being Im immune to all debuffs. That will give him the edge that you need, but you can still use him for now because if you use him now, uh, he has the hard CC with the wooden dragon, and he also has the deity gates. So you get three CCs out of him, and he can heal um, Naruto. You can also um, then change the water means skills around. You will probably go for the water trumpet instead, and if you feel the need to, you could take the uh, natural energy gathering to make her a sage so that uh, Hashirama will heal her. Or you could take healing tips instead of neurotoxin to heal. Because, you know, if you give up the 100% chase, you don't absolutely need neurotoxin. You can still keep it, but it's not as good when you don't have the 100% chase and she's a move 4, so her crit is relatively low in that situation. And I'm just going to really quickly show you the stats. Uh, this is my move 3. Uh, move 4. This is my Kushina move 1. And this is my Naruto move 2. So I recently just finished Kushina. Uh, as you can see all her runes here are maxed out at 12. 
Uh, still working on the Magatamas, though. They're a pain in uh, my neck to finish. So I'm starting to work on uh, my move 2 right now for runestones. Uh, I want to keep it currently at a baseline of level 8. I want to at least try to keep everything at a baseline of 8 except for the initiative. So that, you know, um, everyone moves forward together evenly. But um, after I get the baseline of 8 for everyone, uh, Naruto will be the main focus. Or oh, not Naruto, the move 2 will be the main focus. Uh, yeah, so... This was um, me cramming in more all the commentary I had in the video during the battle. Uh, I might have missed a few points, but yeah, this is more or less everything where I just explained this team of mine. Uh, don't forget, this is what I use when I need to be serious. It's not really meant for Sage World because it kills too slow. But in the video, you will see that it is one of those very, very sturdy teams. Then it, it'll show for itself why I'm... I claim this is my serious team. Alright, have fun with the video!
になって元気になって遅い行くよ行くよ惑星螺旋しげ二重だな忍者行きます頑張ってやす終わりだ。遅い。と見せてやる終わりだ。
気になって忍術元気になってほらだ遅いなら死なおもてはす無縁じゃわくせなぜんしげくそ二重だな無縁じゃ終わりだ。